Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit, and if you guys saw my video yesterday, you know that the new update um, kind of is helping prepare people for House of Wolves. There is like, there's uh, five new, or six new bounties that you can actually do. Uh, well, only five of them are available today. Well, the, the sixth one will be available tomorrow. Um, and they're from the Queen's Emissary up in the tower. And we'll get to all that and stuff. But anyway, this area right here is the one in the Skywatch. Most of you guys have probably done these by now, but there is a, you have to find and kill this servitor you basically just wait for him to spawn and once once he spawns after you kill him it'll say the fallen treasure sits nearby and you'll see this thing called an ether key now what you're going to want to do is you want to find a chest and there's what it looks like is it looks like a chest it just like looks like a golden chest with a beam of light coming out the top and there's a bunch you can see right there like in that corner straight to my left and then up on top of that building up on the top of my screen those are the other two spawn points for the chest and this is the third there was actually a fourth but i you couldn't see it from where i was and i'll show you guys now, you can, as you can see, these chests have a very high drop rate for legendary engrams. So um, you can get quite a bit of legendary engrams doing this. But if, if you watch what I'm doing here, you will see as you go into this area, it will say Lunar Complex. You are no longer in the Skywatch. Come back into the Skywatch, and the chest will actually still be there for the neck, for the duration of the Ether Key. So you can do this up. To, I've, I, the most I've gotten is four times on one chest. But um, if you guys, uh, if you guys want to, as you can see, you can do, you can get uh, ammo synthesis, both special and heavy. You get a ton of spin metal for this, massive amount of spin metal, like, like ten to twelve each time, and one to two blue ingrams or legendary ingrams. I mean, it, it depends. Um, you get so many ingrams, and, and you see that thing in the feed right there. That is called a treasure key. That is probably the most important thing that you can get from this. We'll get to that in one second. But as you can see right there, it did, wait till it says uh, Lunar Complex. I'm going to show you guys what happens. I didn't go all the way in there. So I actually, the chest did not respawn for me. So it looks like there's nothing. It shows that I've already opened and there's nothing in it because I did not go all the way in there. So you have to make sure you wait till it says Lunar Complex before you turn around. All right. Now this is the fourth chest spawn location. This is the one that's the hardest to find for some reason. It's like a lot of people don't know to find it, but it's actually the easiest one. This is the one where I was able to get four. And you can see right here, this is where I do get my treasure key. And I will show you guys what that looks like here at the end. Basically what the treasure key is, is it is a, it is a consumable that you can use in the prison of elders in this like, it's like catacombs beneath the prison of elders. There's a, they're supposed to use it to unlock certain chests. And um, so you might want to, I think you can only carry up to five at a time. So, um, so put them in your vault or something, because then once you get that fifth one, I think they'll just, they won't be there, like, they'll just stop. I don't think they're going to go to your postmaster. Well, they might, I don't know. I know my first one that I got, I've only had one, but this, this, it went to my postmaster, so I don't know um, if, it, if they'll go to that after you have five, or they just, you don't get any after five. I'm not sure how that works, but um, anyway, um, that's basically it. This is the, this is the fastest, I, I tried this on all four of the, um, the two Venus ones and the two Earth ones, not tried this on the Moon one yet. Uh, trying to find it. This was the, the, the Lunar Complex and the Skywatch were the two closest together. Um, so you're able to get as more chest runs. And you can see this chest right here. These are all of the chest locations. This is where I recommend doing it in the Skywatch one with the Servitor. You don't even have to have the bounty active. You literally just sit in this area and you wait for it. And then once um, once it once it activates, uh, you just go through and do what I just did. And then uh, you wait for it to do it again. And it'll be like five to ten minutes before it does it again. And this is the treasure key right here. This is what it looks like. You see it has a little two up in the corner instead of the one because it's the second it's the second DLC. Um, it says used to access Queen's Crystal Barrows beneath the Prison of Elders, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for that. So definitely, they're definitely probably they're most likely going to patch this. Um, this is kind of an exploit, but I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Get as many legendary engrams and treasure keys and stuff as you want while you still can before they patch this. Um, so I just want to help you guys out with that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you found this helpful, please be sure to leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm actually doing something that's actually useful for you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later with some more House of Wolves content. Peace.